Hey guys, good evening. This is Clayton Westfall with Bushwhacker Bait Company, and I am going to do a brief review on some slides that I found on Google. Um, and basically, these are sonar images. There's 2D formatting, there's DI, down imaging, and then there's some side imaging. Really, side imaging is so complex that you can have a series of videos just for it. Um, but I'm going to kind of just insert it into some of this stuff here to kind of give uh, a little bit of context to what it is that I'm showing you. So I've got this folder already set up and um, I have pre-selected images in here that we can click on. I'm not going to spend too much time on each one. I just kind of want to um, point out what's the most important things that I see, why they're significant, and what you can learn from them. So let's take a peek here. So image one. Um, the first thing that I see here is you've got this tall standing timber um, and it looks like it's pretty fresh. There's so much horizontal branches that are um, kind of still intact. Um, normally if it's old you'd see just kind of pole timber um, but this tells me that it's fairly new. You've got pretty hard bottom as indicated by that white um, return on the traditional as well as the DI. That means it's a pretty hard bottom. Um, and then you've got these group of fish up here at the crown of the trees. Um, the way that they're spread out horizontally indicates to me that they're bass. Um, when they start getting stacked one on top of the other and they um, orient themselves to one another in that way, it's generally not bass. So this is what you wanna look for. The best way that I can kind of advise you is to just take a mental note of that and just continue to look through the slides. It would be far too complex to try to tell you that there's a hard and fast rule like, oh, they have to be within a foot of each other or two foot or it's just kind of you got to get a feel for it. So just kind of move along with me here. This that next image here is pretty neat. This is three different images, okay? So you've got in the top left, you have a down imaging. Um, you have a 2D sonar traditional on the bottom left, and you have side imaging on the right. So just starting with the top left, I see one, two, three, four fish right here. Um, I also see on the, there may be one fish down here. On the traditional 2D, um, I see some fish here. Looks like there's also a return here and it's a pretty strong return. It's possible that it's a bass, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I definitely would fish this area. This is a good area to fish. Also, if you look on the um, side imaging here, you see this cloud of bait fish. That's how they look. That's how bait looks on um, side imaging. And then also there's two individual white dots here that are very clearly bass and I believe those are probably these um, by the looks of it so it's pretty neat also I really like this little deal here it's like a um, barometric pressure so that's helpful knowing that kind of how fish respond to that and their activity level so let's move on to the next photo and I just want to point out that these images are not owned by me. Um, I just found them on the internet and I thought that they were the right ones for what it was I was trying to convey. So this is very clearly two different um, trees here. And this looks like this is a freestanding tree as well as the silhouette here. Um, there's a lot of noise. You can see all the surface clutter up top and kind of um, going down to the water column a little bit here. It's not very clear. You might want to adjust your settings a little bit to give a little bit more sharpness and clarity. Um, but just looking at it briefly, I would say there's a good chance that in this area here, there's a few fish. I would say that there's a couple small fish in the crown of this tree. And so I would not start with this one I'd start with this one and I would fish this just a little while I wouldn't spend too much time 
um, this yellow kind of bright white yellow here um, is indicating a hard bottom in the high spot condition what happens is you have a lot of uh, like wave action that will roll over that mound over time uh, it will erode the top surface to expose the bottom so that's kind of a neat deal generally when you have high spots in a lake they're generally a hard bottom okay this is a big group of fish that's definitely not bass not sure what they are, um, but they could be some sort of drum, maybe. Um, but definitely bass don't associate with one another that way. This is a pretty neat image. This is um, a lot of tall, wispy standing trees. And you can see here both on the 2D traditional as well as the DI down imaging, um, that you have some small type fish here that are probably some sort of pan fish if I had to guess. They're clustered very tight together um, and they definitely are not bass. There may be some bass mixed in somewhere in this cover, but um, it wouldn't be in one of these two groups. This image is pretty good um, to just show how sparse things can um, appear on your return, your signal. And so while on the left here, if you didn't see the picture on the right, you might think that there's some fish mixed in here. Um, that looks like a fish there and that looks like a fish there. I will give you that. However, this is very obviously based on what I see from the DI the um, hard return from the limbs and so there's probably a couple of fish mixed in here like based on what I'm seeing at the bottom um, there's a few dots that I see here also um, but I wouldn't say that uh, you know it's definitely worth fishing but I wouldn't say it's like a great spot I like showing these um, areas that aren't super obvious because even when you're just learning it gives you kind of a cold introductory to how it really uh, how it really is you know it doesn't just jump out on you all the beautiful images that we see in Bass Pro Shops really aren't reality generally unless you're on a Kentucky Lake or somewhere where there's these massive schools of fish um, it's just not reality uh, so let's look at this image this is like um, some sort of vegetation here weeds and what I'm seeing is is maybe a fish here maybe one here maybe one here maybe one here here's some small fish suspended um, that might be some sort of bait or panfish or something um, but I would definitely maybe throw a little Carolina rig over here and check out this grass like this image a lot. This is a combination DI and SI. So the first thing that we see here on the DI side is a lot of bait. That's a really great sign. Oftentimes if it's not very clear or distinct in the image and you're not 100% sure, if you see bait that close to cover and it's such a prominent uh, tree like that with a big crown, there's chances are there's probably some bass mixed in there somewhere. Um, it's worth a shot. I see the bait here also on the side imaging view. Of course, this is your boat lane running down the center. Um, also, something that I wanted to point out is it looks like there's either some rocks here or some short stumps or something. I'm thinking rocks. I could see the shadow behind it. Um, and they're probably pretty tall rocks. Um, but there is absolutely a white dot here and that's for sure in my opinion like a bass that's that's the type of stuff that I'm looking for is those white um, very strong sonar returns like that so I would definitely give this this spot a good look
Okay, we're almost getting to the end here. I wanted to include this because some of the traditional sonars now have um, the fish ID function. And so basically what the fish ID does is it um, is a, it's the computer's best guess at um, deciphering the return on the sonar cone and establishing whether or not it's a fish. Um, if you were to look at this image on the left, you would think for sure, okay, great, I see these good looking fish here. Oh man, there's three of them. There's three of them and they're calling them carp here. Um, on here, when I'm looking at the down imaging, I don't really see that. Um, I see some isolated little blips here, but I'm just not convinced, you know, there may be like a little cluster of something here, um, small fish, and you can kind of see a few returns here, but I don't think that those are like really significant is what I'm getting at. And I wouldn't, it, it is carp, but it's a good example to look at because you can so easily get wrapped up into this fish ID concept and it's not always the best thing. It, it may be a helpful tool for a beginner, um, but at this point, at least in my fishing career, I don't rely on it as much. Um, I would be more curious actually um, looking at the bottom here. That looks like there may be some fish piled in um, and I see some arches right here. So that's more attractive to me than what's up here that they're showing with their fish ID. This is an excellent image here. Um, basically what we're looking at is a hump. And on that hump, you have that strong white line that signifies the hard bottom. And so those fish are in a band. That's what we like to see is we like to see a band of fish that is close to the bottom. Um, and that generally means that they're in a feeding disposition. Um, and so they're not necessarily oriented with weeds or trees or big rocks here. They like that hard bottom and they're set up on the top. And like I say, that's more of a feeding um, disposition. But that is really a signature um, look there. That's a great image. Highly recommend that spot, wherever it is. This one here um, is pretty neat. I don't know that all of these fish are bass, but I would say definitely a few of them are. Um, there's a lot of clutter over here on this side that I'm seeing. A lot of washout from the boat probably, and it's just kind of messy. But you can very clearly see here a little bit more of a concentration of return. I would say that this is kind of a justifier here and it shows there may be a few small fish that are over the top suspended over this tree maybe some panfish um, definitely within here i see these isolated white returns and those are definitely all going to be fish of some sort you can see them here also as arches um, so that seems like a great spot you know you have the um the change in the bottom kind of makes like a little series of humps here um, and then you've got that nice lay down right there. It's kind of at an angle and creates a shade line. So that's a probably a great spot. I'd love to fish that area. Um, but definitely I, I, my whole goal here was to just kind of present an introduction, show you a few images, and just kind of point out the features that I think are important, how to look at it, how to interpret it. Um, I do plan on doing some videos specifically um, more tailored towards advanced skill set and then also just for side imaging um, maybe do one just for down imaging I just kind of wanted to have that introduction have a mix of a few different looks and give you a good foundation um, really I wanted to do this video for one of my viewers he's a pretty neat guy and has reached out to me and kind of given me some suggestions um, to share my information so I appreciate that and I hope it's as equally um, informative for my other viewers. So thanks for your time. Please um, like and subscribe to my channel. And check out some of the other videos that I have that I feel are equally helpful.